Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, we're gonna be testing out a talked about product that I talked about before, but I wonder what to add shining gloss here to this dark green paint on my first gen Ford Explorer. And I wonder what to take out these minor scratches as well as add gloss and shine on this particular color green. So um I talked about it. I even tested on black paints. I think I tested on gold paint before. Now I want to test it out on the green and um, see what it'll do. Now this is more like a teal. This is first gen Ford Explorer, kind of like a teal green or something like that. I really don't know what color that is. It's almost like a teal turquoise type color. So it says here, Scratch and swirl removal removes fine scratches and swirl marks, restores color and gloss. And it's just showing a before and after picture. On the back, there states Scratch out help removes fine scratches and swirls and haze from all auto paint surfaces. Also removes minor paint marks and water spot quickly and easily. Gives paint a deep shine and color. All right, that's what it's saying. Shake well, wash, and dry car first. Use on cool surface out of direct sunlight. Pour into a clean dry cloth. Spread evenly over the scratch area. Use circular motions. Allow it to dry to a haze. Wipe off with clean dry cloth. All right, so let's get busy with it. And I'm going to show you guys this, this little scratches that I want to work on. It's like up in here. You can, it's just random scratches, uh, as you can see up in here. And we're just going to do half of this door. This back door area. The reason why, because I want to see how much shine and gloss will it add to the paint by just doing half of this door. All right, so I'm gonna kind of just do half. You remember my finger mark right here? I'm just gonna do half of this paint. All right, so let's hit it. Now I recommend when you're using this product, kind of do it in circular motions so to have the cut that you want to it. And we're gonna kind of line this up so I, you guys can see exactly why I stopped it. And then we'll continue with the circle of motions. Okay. Now, if you're using a rotary or DA, your work time is going to be longer and better. But, you know, I'm just doing it by hand. So any anybody can do it by hand. Ladies, gentlemen, anybody watching in can do this by hand, you know. Don't have to be a pro or None of that stuff just to do this by hand. Just a little bit more harder work in it. But if you're just trying to do a pounder at a time, it's still not too bad, you know. Okay. And this stuff gets some serious um, cut from using it before. Um, after you use this product, you're gonna want to add some kind of protection like your Formula One, Carnival Wax, or something to protect it. As you can see, I've been working on the interior some in here too, cleaning out the carpets. And uh, I got to clean the seats. Was that going to be in another video for you guys? And I'm going to find out what I'm going to use to clean the seats. That's coming up. I'm going to have to leave the doors open. And this is more like a hobby Ford Explorer for me because I have several of them. But this one here is more like a hobby. You know, I ain't really worried about it. So, uh, let's see what I do now. Let's take this off here. Gotta have something to do these days for fun. Okay, now let's see what it take out those fine random scratches I was showing you guys. Now, some of them probably is too deep, but it will add a lot of shine and gloss to the paint, I will say. We're gonna hit this again because it got some oxidation that I still see. Here. Let's come back. Oh man, y'all see that? Oh man, it did an excellent job. Look at here. It added a lot of shine and gloss here to the paint. You can tell exactly where the line at. You can come back off that. It added a lot of gloss, as you guys can see there. Check that out. You can see exactly where I stopped at. Oh man, that's beautiful there. You can tell a split difference there. 
as you can see the shine and gloss is here nothing is here shine and gloss here oh man that's a split difference so what we're gonna do we're gonna hit it again as you guys see look at the shine and gloss that it added it actually took a lot of those random scratches that i show you guys out of the paint as you can see they're not as visible now as they was at first oh yeah it actually worked yeah this product does a good job on this particular color i said all colors but um it definitely did an excellent job on this particular color here it's amazing guys as you can see back here it looks kind of hazy where i haven't touched then you come in and see the gloss. Still need some work, but man, it, it looks a lot better. So we're gonna hit it again. I mean, it's whew, look way different. Way different. Okay. So we're gonna spread this product again. Let's get it. And like I said, I recommend doing it in circular motions so you can give it that cut. Now, like I said, if you're using a rotary or a DA or something, it's going to be much easier. It doesn't matter here, though, because I do my videos for the average person who don't have all those machines and all that kind of stuff, just want to do something by hand, you know, and get the job done. And it, you can get the job done by hand, but it might take a little longer, but it doesn't matter to me as long as I get the job done. No, that's just how I see it. So off camera, I'm going to end up doing the whole door. But right now, I'm just going to do the half. Concentrate on this half so you guys can see the difference. All right, so... This product is very abrasive too. It has some really good cut to it. I would say this would be an excellent product also for removing water spots, which I haven't really tried to move water spots or none out the windshield or um, the windows, period. Uh, we'll try that as well. See, is it successful at doing that? Which I think it is. So, because uh, it's pretty abrasive. This retail around, I think it's around $10, $11, give or take. Could be cheaper. Um, the good thing about it, I think you can pick this product up and I want to say you can get it at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Seems like that's why I seen this at. So, or you can just order from Amazon if you don't mind waiting, you know. So let's go ahead and bump this back off so we, since we worked it in now. And uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. It's allowed to dry to a haze. Okay, so we're allowed this one to dry. Spread evenly over the scratch area using circular motion. Allowed to dry to a haze. Wipe off a clean cloth. Okay, so you're supposed to let it dry. The first coat, I took it on off. So with the temps like, like it is, I'm going to let put you guys on pause, and we're allowed to dry to a haze. I'll be right back. I'm back. Now it's dried all up to a haze, as you can see. Let's buff it on off. Here we go. Let's see where we stand. Gave it about five minutes to dry. Since the temps is kind of cold in Carolina today, it's about 55 degrees here today, so it ain't really that warm. So it's going to take longer for these products to get dry. All right, as you can see, man, look at the gloss that it add to the paint. Let's flip this rag over, hit it again. Oh, yeah, just add a lot of shining gloss here. Oh, man, look at there. Y'all can really see the difference on that shining gloss. It's split difference. You can tell this side I haven't touched. To this side, I mean, the clarity, the deepness, the dark. I mean, the paint has looked darker. See, there it's probably about two or three shades darker in them just by using this product. See the difference? Look at there. 
I would say it's about two, three shades darker. Looks super good. Thanks to Formula One scratch out. And it removed those fine scratches that were there as well. Remember those miscellaneous scars that was up in here? It took those out as well. So, shots out to Formula One scratch out. And look at the gloss it added to the paint versus this side. See the difference? It's amazing. Anyway, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Till next time, we'll hit y'all on the next upcoming video. I'm out of here. Peace.